Hello all you productive people out there, Kevin from CC Piper, where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives. Let's jump into today's topic, which is the adjust layout feature in Adobe InDesign. Have your clients ever changed their mind about the print size? Perhaps you already had designed a final layout. Well, did you have to redo it? This great InDesign feature can help you in those situations. So what is it? Well, it's basically a feature that allows you to resize your InDesign document along with its contents. And why does this deserve your valuable attention? Well, changes will happen. If you worked as a designer, you'll probably know that. And even though, depending on the change and the complexity of your project, this feature may or may not get you all the way, it can still be a nice help on the way. And it's especially great, though, in making, say, I don't know, both an A4 and an A5 output and not wanting to do it twice. And uh, really any proportionate scaling, for that matter. It saves us both time and from boring, uncreative work, which we're all about here. With all that said, enough talk and let's jump into Adobe InDesign. Here I have a demo file with three different looks. And uh, let's say now our client wants to change the print size of this document. We'll find the adjust layout feature under file and adjust layout. And uh, I'm all about shortcuts, which in this case is shift option P. And if you already know the shortcut for document settings, which is control option P, this one should be quite easy to remember since it's quite similar. We then get this little dialogue here. And uh, to start us off, we'll decide on a new document size. And we can pick from the list right here or write one in our cells, which is what I'm going to do. For the sake of simplicity, I've gone for a square format here, which should make this work very well. And we get simple numbers to work with as well. And I want to half the size of this. So we'll enter in 100 times 100 millimeters. Then we decide what we want to do with our margins. And InDesign can adjust according to the size change, or we can set our own. I'll set my own here, so I'll leave this unchecked. And keep in mind the margins we set will affect how our content scales as well. And since I half the size, in this case, I'll want the same for the margins. That would be five millimeters. And I don't want to change my bleed, so we'll just leave that as is. Lastly, we can decide whether to adjust our font size or not. I'd say that the main argument for not doing that would be if you know everything is using, say, paragraph styles and you want to manually change those yourself. And if your design is more complex and this isn't a last minute thing, maybe that's a better option. Mine, however, isn't, so I'll just leave this checked. And we can also set limits here so that it doesn't go crazy with the font size. Uh, probably not necessary here, though. And uh, lastly, we want to adjust everything. So I'll leave that just locked content checked as well, just in case we have anything locked. And of course, if you wanted something not to change, you could just play around with this and uh, locking those objects here in the layer panel. And then those should not be affected. But that should pretty much be it, though, for the first try. So we'll just press OK here and uh, see how it turned out. That looks like, I think, what we expected. And uh, let's see, our page size is, yes, 100 times 100 mil. Our margins are 5 mil, and I think our content looks great. Mm. Uh, but of course, this is a very simple example, so InDesign had quite an easy time getting it right. I'll show you, though, what we'd end up with uh, with some different settings. Uh, so I'll just undo here and uh, say we want to scale this up instead, and uh, there will be a frame around it once we've printed it. So we want some bigger margins for this. Let's go with a uh, 500 times 500 mil. And uh, let's see, we can uh, do some easy math here. So we had 10 millimeters out of 200 before, and that is 5%. So let's go with a bit bigger and say 10%, which out of 500 would be 50 mil. Um, bear with me here. And uh, this time we want to adjust the font size ourselves, let's say. So we'll just leave this off and uh, we can just press OK. And then we end up with this. We have some bigger margins and now we can just take care of the typography manually as we normally would. But that should pretty much be it for this time though. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out a lot. And also if you have any productivity questions or suggestions for future videos, make sure to throw those in the comments below. And once again, thank you. And until next time, have a good one.